Are you messing up your relationships without even realizing it? This question might seem a bit confronting but it's an important one to ask. We all carry patterns of behavior into our relationships, some good, some, well, not so good. Today we're going to delve into the latter category we'll be highlighting the importance of recognizing patterns that could potentially sabotage your relationships. So buckle up folks. Let's explore the five common patterns that may be messing up your relationships. Pattern 1. Checking off the boxes. Are you being too rigid in your relationship? It's easy to picture a perfect relationship with no disagreements where everything is in constant sync. But let's get real. Relationships are not about checking off boxes on a list. They're about understanding, compromise and sometimes weathering the storm together. Sure, having must-haves and deal-breakers helps you understand what you need in a relationship. But if you're too rigid, if you're sticking too strictly to that list, you might be sabotaging your own relationship. Why is that? Here's the thing, mental health experts have discovered that rigid thinking can negatively impact relationships. It can turn a healthy relationship into a battlefield of expectations and disappointments. So, what's the takeaway here? Boundaries are important, yes, but being too rigid, being too fixed in your mindset can mess up your relationships. It's all about finding the balance. So remember, while boundaries are important, being too rigid can mess up your relationships. Pattern 2. Making it all about you. Are you always demanding your way in your relationship? If you're nodding along, we might have hit on a pattern that's messing up your love life. A relationship isn't a solo performance, it's a duet, and that means compromise, empathy and respect need to be your watchwords. When you're constantly calling the shots without any regard for your partner's feelings, needs or desires, it's like you're trying to sing both parts of the duet, and let's be honest, that's going to sound discordant. This kind of self-centered approach doesn't just harm your relationship, it can also eat away at your own happiness. You see, the thrill of getting your own way all the time may seem satisfying at first, but it's a bit like eating a whole tub of ice cream. It feels fantastic in the moment, but ultimately it's not going to make you feel good. Studies show that people who are self-centered tend to experience fleeting happiness from material and external things, but less genuine, lasting happiness overall. So, by making it all about you, you're not just chipping away at your relationship, you're also chipping away at your own contentment. While it's important to have your needs met, remember that a relationship is a two-way street. It's about give and take, about understanding and responding to your partner's needs, as well as your own. That's the harmony that makes the duet of a relationship truly beautiful. Pattern 3. Making it all about them. Are you sacrificing all your needs for your significant other? Being everything to your partner can be draining and costly. It's not shocking that such imbalance can wear down your mental health. Studies suggest that codependency, a relationship style where you sacrifice your needs for your partner's happiness, is strongly linked with anxiety and depression. But why is a codependent relationship so toxic for your mental health? One theory suggests it's because you're neglecting your own needs, which are crucial for well-being. Another theory points to the strain of constantly trying to please another person. It's not all doom and gloom though. Codependency is a pattern that can be changed. Many have successfully shifted away from codependent relationships through various means. Remember, it's important to balance meeting your own needs with those of your partner. Pattern 4. Allowing your ex to influence you. Are you letting your past relationships dictate your current ones? We've all had that one ex that just sticks with us, right? And it's perfectly normal to be influenced by our past experiences. But there's a fine line between learning from the past and letting it control our future. Imagine your past relationship as a tenant in your mind. How much rent are they paying? If it's anything more than zero, it's too much. Your ex might have been a significant part of your life, but they shouldn't be dictating your future relationships. It's crucial to understand that every relationship is unique. Just because one relationship ended a certain way, it doesn't mean your current one will. And if you're going out of your way to find someone just like your ex or doing a complete 180 to avoid anyone like them, you might be missing out on meeting someone truly amazing. It's okay to have ties with your ex, especially if you share kids, work together, or are part of the same friend group. But if the relationship was toxic, or if you're still feeling guilty or questioning how it ended, it might be time to seek closure. Talk to a trusted friend, a therapist, or write down your feelings. Find a way to evict that ex from your headspace and make room for a healthy, fulfilling relationship. Remember, your past relationships should stay in the past. Pattern 5. Overlooking red flags. Are you ignoring major issues in your relationship? 
Red flags, those nagging doubts or glaring problems that suggest a relationship might be toxic or simply not the right fit, are easy to ignore when you're in the throes of passion. However, brushing these issues under the rug can lead to a buildup of resentment, confusion, and hurt. Ignoring red flags doesn't just put your relationship at risk, it can also harm your personal well-being. Over time, these unresolved issues can lead to stress, anxiety, and even depression. It's crucial to face these red flags head-on. Discuss them openly with your partner, seek professional help if necessary. Remember, a red flag is not an automatic relationship death sentence. It's an indicator that something needs to change. It's a chance for growth, for understanding, and for strengthening your bond. Always address red flags as soon as they arise. So, these were the five patterns that could be messing up your relationships. From being too rigid in checking off the boxes, making it all about you or them, letting your ex influence you, to overlooking red flags. Remember, relationships are about balance, understanding, and growth. It's about being the best version of yourself while nurturing your partner's growth too. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and check out our other videos on relationships. Until next time, keep fostering healthy relationships.